Lash, and I'm here at the Hub Culture Pavilion in Davos, very pleased to be joined by Dr. Martin Roth, the Hi. director of the Victoria and Albert Museum, and you are my favorite museum director. That's great. <laughs> so not only your favorite museum, I'm, oh, that's exactly, even better. Exactly, right? So, first of all, tell me a little bit about... No, no I'm embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> tell me a little bit about... Um, about this idea we've, you've been exploring about creating your own exhibition at the V&A. I mean, it's, I, I hope it's the right idea. I hope I'm not completely lost and it's just a vision and a strange idea, but I think museums, I mean, museums are constantly changing, always. A museum in the 19th century is completely different from today. Mm -hmm. Sometimes museums are just part of an evolution, political, social evolution, sometimes we have to force them. And with the digitization, with all the digital opportunities that we have right now, this revolution has to take part also in the museum's world, otherwise it's not working, but in a very positive sense. So we have the real object, the, the aura, the, aura the real of the object, object. Yeah. The, the real one. I mean, nothing is better, I mean, whatever it is. We are, we are, not, it. We are not Skyping right now, we are right. not on Skype, we talk to each other, it's completely different. So that's one part. The other part is we have all the knowledge, all the experience, well, let's say, a lot of knowledge, 95%. Mm -hmm. And you are an expert in, let's say, Iranian pottery. Mm -hmm. You come to the VNA, we want to have your expertise. We want to learn from you. So you work with our curators on a kind of open storage. I don't like the word open storage, but at least it's accessible, mm -hmm. easy to access. So we need the digital world to create a kind of connection, but we need also your expertise and we need the original objects. So you create in the VNA with the VNA. Something like an exhibition for yourself for half an hour, for a day, maybe for a week. Maybe it's so important for us that we keep it there mm -hmm. for quite a while. That's one part of it. The second part, the second step is to do something that we started already, this rapid response collection. So whatever mm -hmm. happens outside the museum has to happen inside the museum. So that's amazing because you've brought in things like jeans that were made uh, in the factory in Bangladesh um, during, just before the terrible exactly. catastrophe. You have this so flappy bird now part of that. Exactly. We have an umbrella from Hong Kong, you know, things like right. that. So we react on what, what mm -hmm. happened outside. So that means, I think we can explain difficult topics, headlines, mm -hmm. newspaper headlines. It's not instead of the museum, don't get me wrong. We need the curated shows. We mm -hmm. need that expertise. We need the rigorous background. But at the same time, we have a lot of answers to questions. I mean, daily based questions. Pegida in Dresden, this nightmare of a xenophobic movement that just, just started a few weeks ago mm -hmm. in the former East, yep. German, former East Germany. I don't know if, if we have an explanation in the VNA, but we have a lot of objects mm -hmm. that can explain what this kind of xenophobic m movement means. So why don't we cope with the, with the news, just the news outside mm -hmm. the museum? That means it's something like writing a, a, a book very intellectual approach, academia, and then the other side it's more like a blog, mm -hmm. it's more like a newspaper, it's an immediate reaction. I hope it will work, but with the museum moving to East London... So tell me about that, that's exciting. I knew that you are, that you are, <laughs> that you like that topic. So it's not the v &A that will move to East London, the mm -hmm. v &A is the v &A and it's the v &A in South Kensington, mm -hmm. and I mean, we all there. like it, we don't change it, exactly right. the opposite, we made it even more elegant and more exciting. But there's this contemporary, not contemporary art, that's not what I mean, it's not about contemporary design, it's more like a contemporary approach, the, the digitized world, world, and that's what we want to show. In East London, it's the former um, Olympic Park, mm -hmm. we work together with Sadler's Wells, with uh, UCL, mm -hmm. UAL, we have uh, more than 3,000 fashion students on site, so it's going to be a great location of synergies, and the v &A and the v &A's collection is part of it. So when will that open? Uh, this is always a question. Let's <laughs> say, we call it E20, that's right. the postal code, but that means also we want to open it in mm -hmm. 20. I'm not so sure about it. <laughs> Fantastic. Dr. Roth, thank you so much for stopping thank by you, the Hub Culture Pavilion here in Davos, and I'm Edie Lush.